me flowers. They're fabulous, aren't they? They're absolutely gorgeous. I love this time of year. Well, I don't mean this time of the year. I mean this weather. Um, the weather today is absolutely gorgeous. It's just lovely. It's fantastic. I just want to tell you a bit about my weekend because there was a quite a lot happened and some of it was very, very funny. On Friday night, I went to the VIP Style Awards. Um, myself and Avery went and it's a brilliant night. It was on at the Marker Hotel in Dublin and it's just a fabulous night. It's just the, the glamour and the style of the women. The men all look smart, but the women look stunning. They look amazing. And it's not like a fashion show and maybe it's just... Is it just me when I look at fashion shows, when I see them on telly, and I've been to a few of them here in Dublin as well, but most of the time when you look at the fashion shows, um, what, the what the models are wearing, you just think, nobody under the sun, nobody on God's earth is going to wear that stuff. You never see it in shops, you never see it um, for sale. The, the models are wearing it, and it's just stuff that's all out here, uh, totally impractical. And I was always wondering, why do they do that? Why don't the, the designers just get the models to wear the designer's clothes that's for sale in the high street. And I, I don't know, maybe it's just a thing that they do, that they, they're looking for publicity and they know that this is going to be a good photograph on the front of the paper or whatever like that. I don't know. But anyway, the VIP Style Awards is not like that. The, the style, that the, the, the clothes and the dresses that the girls wore, they were all, every one of them, they were all gorgeous. They really were. And I had a great night. Um, there was myself and Navri, and then at the table with us was Alan Hughes and his partner, his husband, Carl Broderick. And then there was a few people from TV3 that I knew, and vaguely know, but I know them to see on television as well. And we got on great. We had a, and then there was um, Noel, uh, who runs a hotel. And uh, it, it was just a fabulous night, it really, Noel Cunningham. It was a fabulous night. And um, I really enjoyed it. And I presented an award, which I was thrilled to be asked to do. I presented the award for Most Stylish Man in Ireland, 2018. And I was great to be asked to do that because I won that exact same award in 2015. And sort of people have been saying to me, you weren't nominated, are you disappointed? And I said, I couldn't care less now. I mean, I won the award. I mean, if I won it again or if I was nominated again, it doesn't take away the fact that I'm a Peter Mark VIP Style Award winner. So I am, I won the award. So I don't need to win a second one or a third one or whatever. I don't need to be nominated again. I was just so thrilled to win it. But it was a fabulous night and I'm rabbiting on a bit too much about that. But anyway... Then on yesterday, I tweeted something about, I replied to a comment that Amnesty, Amnesty International made that I didn't agree with. And they're entitled to their opinion, but I'm also entitled to disagree with it if I want to. But I disagreed with the comment and I posted a, a reply to it to them. And um, what happened was, uh, the reaction was amazing. All over the world, people are liking my comment. And one in particular was Roseanne Barr. No, the, yeah, the real Roseanne, Roseanne from the television, the Roseanne Barr superstar. Somehow or other, she saw my comment and not only did she see it, but she liked it. And I thought, this is brilliant. My, this, my, my time on social media and all the time I spend on it, it's really just, it's, it's, it's proved worthwhile. Roseanne Barr likes a comment of mine. I was over the moon. And then the funniest thing happened to me on Saturday afternoon. I was going to lunch and I was walking up Wicklow Street and to get to the restaurant to meet somebody, meet a friend of mine, and I was late. And I know there was a huge big crowd outside a pub, and I thought, oh, there must be a football match on, or there must be something going on. And um, so I was barging my way through the crowd, trying to get down and with my baseball, baseball cap on and my head down. And when I got through the crowd, a policeman, I was walking along up the road, and the policeman just went like that. So I thought, oh, he wants a selfie, I just assumed. <laughs> It's amazing the assumptions you make. So I walked up to him and just put my arm around his shoulder and he jumped sideways like a startled, like it was like a fox or something if it just saw a human. He jumped sideways and he went, what are you doing? And I said, um, I thought you wanted a selfie. And he went, no, I don't want a selfie. And I said, oh, I'm terrible, sorry. I said, what do you want? And he said, um, he pointed over to this guy standing in front of a pub and the guy had um, tissue up both of his nostrils, <laughs> sticking out like horns or something out of his nostrils, two white tissues, and there was a bit of blood on his shirt. And up further then I noticed that there was a guy at a police van, another policeman talking to him, and the guy is giving it all this, giving it loads. And I thought, okay, there must have been a fight between the two of them. And the policeman said, I want to ask, he says, that man has just been assaulted a few minutes ago, he said, and I just wanted to ask if you saw anything, did you witness anything? 
And I said to him, no, no, I didn't. I'm just on my way up to lunch. I said, I didn't witness anything at all. And he says, go on then. And I just walked off and I thought, oh, I'm now, I am mortified. <laughs> the policeman probably thinks this is, did nobody tell him that it was hug a policeman day or something? Because I just went up and put my arm right around his shoulder. And I looked back and I could see him with another policeman and the two of them were laughing. And I could see him, he was like this. And I thought, oh, okay, I'm just out there making a holy show of myself. But then I, start, I saw the funny side of it. And so that's what happened. Everyone, on tw I mentioned it on Twitter, and everyone on Twitter was asking me what happened. I wasn't arrested or anything like that. It was just a big mistake. I put my arm around a policeman shirt. And all he wanted to know if I was, did I witness a row? And that was it. And I just had me, oh, anyway, enough about that. That's it. I'm off up now to see my father's grave because it's his birthday today. If he was still alive, he would have been 87. So I'm just going up to pay me respects and lay a few flowers on the grave and have a little chat to him. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, wish you all the best and I will talk to you in a few days. Bye bye.